In this video, we'll be doing a problem that deals with rate of change. The dollar value of a product in 2008 is $156. The rate at which the value of the product is expected to change during the next five years is $4.50. Increase per year. We're asked to write a linear equation that gives the dollar value V of the product in terms of the year T. And we're told that we can let T equal zero represent the year 2000. All right. So if we want to write a linear equation, what we want to do is find a point and find a slope. This first sentence tells us that the dollar value of a product in 2008 is $156. So this is going to give us our point. Since T equals 0 represents 2000, then 2008 tells us that T is equal to 8. And then this is our value in 2008. Also, the rate at which the product is expected to change, rate of change is always our slope. So we can write immediately then that the slope is, and since it's increased, it's going to be a positive number, the slope is 450. And we are asked to write a linear equation that gives the dollar value V of the product in terms of the year T. So T is our independent variable. So t is our independent variable. That means that's the x, so to speak, in my ordered pair. So my t for this problem is 8. And then the value v is my dependent variable. And that'll be the second number in the ordered pair, or the y, so to speak, and that's going to be 156. So what we've done then is we've taken this data from an actual problem and changed it into a, a math problem here. We can now use our point-slope form of the equation. And that is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the point, and m is the slope. So let me just plug these values into my equation. The x and the y are variables, so we'll leave them alone. So I'm going to write y minus and then my y coordinate of my point is 156. Uh, my slope m is 4.5. And then x is a variable. And uh, x coordinate of my point is 8. So now I just need to simplify this equation a little bit. I have y equals, let me distribute here, 4.5x, and then here, be minus 36, and then I'm going to add the 156 over as well, and we have y is equal to 4.5x, and then plus 120. 
Now this was all the mathematics for the problem. Remember that uh, my independent variable was t and my dependent variable was v or value. So now to write my equation in terms of the problem, I would write v is equal to 4.5 t plus 120.